Today is June 15th, 2014, and this video is in response to a video that I made yesterday about whether or not a bird watt meter or any other type of watt meter measures average or RMS power. <clears throat> and I got a nice email last night from a gentleman pointing me to some websites that uh, I did quite a good job explaining it. There are a lot of uh, nice articles out there. Uh, the bottom line is, is that the word RMS power is a misnomer and I understand why now. I've used that term for decades and I guess so is just about everybody. We know what it means. We know what we meant. We meant the DC heating power of of an AC signal, AC voltage and current, that's equivalent to the DC power, DC heating power. Uh, but the word RMS does not apply to power, and I'll show you why. I actually understand why now. Let's look at it like this. If we take a, uh, a voltage, a sine wave voltage, and a sine wave current, we'll call this uh, E and I, we know that uh, the peak is right here, peak value. We know that the RMS value is a little bit below the peak. It's actually equal to 1 over the square root of 2 times the peak value, which is approximately equal to 0 0.707, a number we're pretty familiar with. Well, right down here, a little bit below that is a, uh, another value that we call average. And it's actually equal to 2 divided by pi. That's its exact value, which is approximately equal to 0 0.64. Same thing down here for the current. The problem is, is we, as technical people, have confused this word right here, average, and, and uh, are thinking that if we use this value of 0.64, then we're going to get an average power, and that's incorrect. What we do is we take the RMS value of the voltage and we multiply it times the RMS value of the current and we get the equivalent DC heating level. This is not varying. If, it's, if we're measuring an RMS value, a root mean square value, what it means we're doing is we're measuring many, many points all along this sine wave. We're just going to talk about a sine wave here. We're measuring all the points along this sine wave. And then we're taking each point and squaring it. And then we sum them up and we take the mean, which means that we, we square all the numbers, we add them all up, and then we divide that number by the number of points we've uh, measured. And then we have uh, the mean of the square. And if we take the square root of that, we have the RMS value. We're not getting an RMS value here. What we're doing when we multiply an RMS voltage times an RMS current, we're getting a steady state, equivalent DC heating level, a continuous power. You can call it average if you want. I don't even like the word average. It's a continuous power level that, that's, that's equivalent. This is equivalent to this much DC voltage. DC voltage right here, DC voltage times DC current. These RMS values give you that. This is not an RMS value because it is not varying. It's just it's straight across. So that's why we don't use the word RMS in our power measurements. We, we know that what we're trying to say, we're, we're trying to say the equivalent, but we should just call it continuous in my opinion. But uh, uh, the uh, the words on the street now is they use the word average. Now, if you take a bird watt meter and read their manual in its entirety, you don't actually have to do that. You download it in PDF form and search for the words. The words average is not in there. And the words RMS are not in there. Not there. They don't exist in their manual. So that's trying to tell us something, isn't it? Um, there are a lot of good articles out there on it. And it's going to be very hard to put away a term that we've used so many times, RMS power. 
when we should be using continuous power, just simply power. So uh, we can uh, help each other and uh, enlighten one another uh, about how to use that term. Um, as I say, there are many good articles out there, and uh, I, th I think you'll enjoy reading them. Uh, I can't think of anything else, but this is a correction to the uh, video that I made yesterday and how I used the word RMS power incorrectly, and I'm going to do my very best not to, uh, to use that word like that anymore. So I hope this helps.